Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make a roast chicken. This is Italian, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to work on it will be our stuffing, of course. So what I've done is just coarsely sliced up four slices of wholemeal bread, just into little squares like that. I just place those into a bowl. Um, as you can see, I've left the crusts on as well, as it provides a bit of crispiness. Now to this, we're going to add two tablespoons of dry oregano, two tablespoons of salt, just a couple of cracks of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of paprika, Got about 200 grams of butter, salted butter here, which I've just diced up into cubes. A handful of chopped parsley. And to this we'll add about two cups of milk. I'm using full cream here for extra flavor. Now this step is optional. I'm gonna add about a cup of chopped bacon as well to this. Now that's completely up to you. You don't have to. Now just go ahead and mix this all together. Try to squeeze the butter as well so you can make them into smaller pieces. And we just want the bread to absorb all that. Okay, like so. So just set that aside so we can let the bread absorb all that in. So basically the first thing you need to do is check the entire chicken for any hairs that are from the wings or anything. Um, this one's fairly clean, so no problems there, and the carcass is all emptied out already. So what we need to do is go ahead and stuff this. So if you want to use a spoon, I'm just going to use my hand. And we want to push our stuffing all the way through. You want to make sure all areas are full. So as you can see the chicken is puffing up as well, so that's all we want. I want to make sure it's squeezed all the way through. All you also can do is just squeeze the stuffing before you put it in to get all that excess milk out just in case it's not all absorbed through. Okay, so I've only got a bit of room left in there. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty well stuffed and the chicken's all puffed up. So grab yourself a large lemon, which was enough to just fit in there, and just pierce the skin a few times. And what we're going to do with the lemon is squeeze it into the carcass as well. Basically what this will do is we'll stop the stuffing from coming out, and we'll provide a lemon in this as well. Okay, so what we need to do now is cover the outside of our chicken. Now what I like to do is sprinkle some paprika on top. As it gives it a nice flavor, smokiness, and a beautiful color. We'll also sprinkle some oregano. Now we'll get just a handful of butter. Basically what we want to do with the butter is rub it all into the skin as we want a crispy skin and you want to make sure to get all well covered
Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is glad wrap this and leave it in the um, fridge for about an hour, just so all those flavors come together. Okay, so I'll go ahead and add a bit more paprika at this stage as well. Since we're wrapping it, we want all that absorbed into the skin. So it's very important to very tightly wrap it. Like so, just the way they are in the supermarket. So we'll put that into the fridge for an hour. Now in the meantime, go ahead and set your oven to 190 degrees Celsius. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, so after an hour, go ahead and bring your chicken out. Now just into a baking tray, I'm going to add in two cups of white wine. Um, you can use water if you prefer, that's up to you. But wine has a different flavor and will be good for the gravy. Next, grab your chicken, and we want to put the breast side up into the baking tray, just like that. Now I've got a bit more excess butter here, I'm just going to put it all over on top. Now we'll also put a bit more paprika on top. Some cracked pepper. And some salt. Now the reason I didn't add salt before is it will dry up the skin. You want to add it right before you put it into the oven so you get a crispy skin. So you guys, straight into the oven just like that, we don't need to cover anything, and so we're about 190-200 degrees now, so we're going to want to cook this for about an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half, just depending, just depends on the size of the chicken. So we'll check on it after about, say, hour and 15 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been one hour and 30 minutes now, so let's have a look. As you can see, it's beautifully cooked and it's nice and crispy. So all we're going to do now is turn the oven off and just leave the door open and just let it rest in there for about 15 minutes, then we'll bring it out. Now, so after about 15 minutes, I've taken our chicken out of the oven as you can see. So it's rested now, it's slightly cooler. So if you're wearing gloves, we can go ahead and take it out. And just place it onto a board like that. Now we can discard the lemon. As you can see, all that stuffing has cooked perfectly inside. And guys, that's ready to serve. All that's left to do is to carve it. If you want to see a video on how to carve a chicken, just click on the link just below and I'll show you how it's done. Very simple. I hope you like that guys, if you got any comments or suggestions just leave them down in the window and I'll see you guys next time.